morning. Okay, so I'm starting my day off with a little bit of hand therapy. Still going in there for that. Ba made a discovery this morning that we still have 17,000 bushels of corn we're supposed to haul for July. We thought that was an August contract. So I'm gonna be call hauling some corn for the next week. At least it's not super hot. Oh, look at that little guy. All right, just getting done with therapy. The hand moves a little bit. The finger just barely twitches, but we're getting progress. That's good. I believe I have found the greatest hunting spot in all of Chillicothe, Yachtanji Park. Now I'm actually waiting on Kayla to meet me for lunch. It's 11 o'clock, so just drove through the park, looking at the geese and looking at the ducks. Double crops are looking nice. As long as we keep getting rains like we have been and not don't get a little more and don't get an early frost, they should be good. We have a good stand. And that's half the battle. Hey, Bob! So I asked the therapist today, and well, it's kind of unfortunate for me, Jay, I really don't care, but I can't pick up a shovel full of grain yet, so I guess I'm not going to be much good cleaning bins out right now. The one thing that I can do, this bin here we've had issues with all year, as far as it being plugged up. It's still got probably 6,000 bushel in it. All the stumps are full or plugged up. So we drilled this hole in it right here. So the pipe's going down to this hole we cut in this auger. My problem is you gotta keep stirring it with this. It's slow but sure. And we're blending it with other corn. So that's what I'm doing while BJ's in the bed. And Dad's loading the truck out right now. And yes, we have a grain back, and no, it's not working. So we had a little bit of a dilemma. Some of the belts burn off of the unload that BJ was cleaning out, so somebody's going belt shopping. So I reckon since I'm the most useless one in this operation at the moment, I'll do some driving. Dad went after the belt, BJ's taking a little break. It's a little hot in them bins. Now we have had a cool snap, it's only like 80 for the day, but sunny so it's a powerful uv day you might say so and vents are toasty like a big old oven Be the last truck here for the day. They close at four. So this is the problem, Ben. It quit running. The dad's in there. I don't like it, but I can't get in there at the moment. You ever just should have maybe went home, but tried to do something extra? Just tried to load a truck with a tarp on it. Should just went home. So now we get a broom off the tarp from a ladder. there got it cleaned up before brother even noticed well we made some progress on our plugged bin and no one got injured and we cleaned up our mess so I guess we'll call that a success for today we'll just pick this video up here in a minute pick it up tomorrow lots of corn hauling what I'm thinking about it if you all need an Ariat shirt like this one very cool in the summer link in the description get a discount helps you out helps me out everybody wins <laughs> morning so back to cleaning out bins again. I don't know about everybody else's operation, but all these bins are down to the sweep. Except for that once plugged. All at once. So at this old grain setup, all these bins, except for the one that's plugged, conveniently enough, don't have power sweeps. We have to put the sweep in manually, shovel out everything. Uh, it takes a little bit longer. These bins were built in the mid-70s, and this was top of the line then, but 
Uh, they've just never been updated as far as you know power sweeps. Maybe someday, but really, I'd rather just uh, maybe put up one bin or two bins and get rid of the other ones. There's six bins here holding about 120,000 bushel. Uh, it'd be a lot more convenient if it was just one or two bins. But, gotta use what you got. Money, money, money. Bend like this, the most safest way to do it is try to get it away from the door. That's why we got a hole cut in the bin close to the door. We're able to get in the bin this way. It's, uh, it makes me feel a little bit better, anyways. But now we've got this pretty much run down. Dad is in there with a big metal rod, poking through the floor, trying to find the stuff. He's not doing it right now because the auger's running, but uh, I'm going to take the auger here, off here in a minute and we'll keep poking around. Hopefully, we can unplug the stump and just keep walking our way back as we pull that grain down. We'll be on look. May not be able to tell, but he unplugged it. Apparently there's a hole right there for the sump. So if you're new to the channel, we're over here working, we're dumping trucks. I take this bat, and I walk around and I poke this tarp. Wait till I see the tarp move, and then I smack that spot because it's usually a rat. Just got one. Right? Well, I thought I did. I thought I had one right in here. Little turd just about ran across my foot, so he had to go. Hey! Well, folks, we have officially had all the fun we can stand for today. Like I say, cargo closed early today. They closed at noon for, what'd you say, CPR training? Yeah. So they know how to life save us now, I guess. But uh, we loaded a truck, got a little bit in the holding bin, made some progress on bin cleaning, so we're calling our quits for over here today. I'm going to go home and the yard. Hey guys, a couple things before we sign off here. If you're planning on going to Farm Progress Show, my dad, my brother, I, we will all be there. So look us up if you're going to be there. Also, we do have a couple things coming in the merch store. So check the links in the description there. They should be hitting the shelves anytime. So uh, keep checking back there. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. We'll see you in the next one.